Mr. Cardi, Thursday night football, San Fran at Seattle, divisional battle. We saw some sharp money come in on Seattle, moved the three and a half to three, total sitting at 43 and a half. We've been getting some struggling open markets, I would say, so far in the last couple of weeks in regards to prop markets because the uncertainties, especially on this short week, have made uh, the prop markets a little barren for, I would say, probably the third week in a row. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot out there, and most of what is out there looks pretty efficient. Yeah, we saw Seattle props get taken off the board Wednesday uh, just before team practices. Uh, we're not 100% sure on the quarterback for San Francisco. Purdy is looking more probable than doubtful, but might sit. Uh, Kenneth Walker's probably going to play, but again, still has, uh, I believe still has a limited practice tag on him. But one thing we know, you're probably not going to run against the San Francisco defense. We saw last week, Seattle not run the ball heavy on the pass. You're liking Geno Smith over 21 and a half comps plus 102. And against an elite defense that uh, is stopping everybody is allowed 20 points just twice this year. They actually sit bottom 12 in completions allowed per game at 22.3. That's on average. Now you add the most accurate quarterback in football, and this is looking like some value here. Yeah, it's not massive value. The Blitz is projecting 23 and a half, so we're getting two completions over, you know, a little better than even money. It's it's fine. There's a little bit of value there. Like you said, Gino is the most accurate quarterback in football. He's legitimately really good. He has good guys to throw to. And so I think we can squeeze a little bit of value here. Yeah, leads the league in completion percentage at 71 and a half, which is actually 5.9% better than expected, which is also the best mark. Tyler Lockett scoring, I believe he scored in eight of his last nine games. DK Metcalf seems to be a little healthier than over the last couple of weeks, and they'll probably get a heavy dose of those guys on the outside. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and uh, – you know, if Kenneth Walker comes back, you know, he was getting a very high target share before his injury. Um, running back, you know, passes are always completed at a higher rate. So that's nice. Travis Homer should be in the mix out of the backfield, too. So this is, uh, you know, I think it's it sets up as a as a solid spot for Gino. Yeah, I think you hit on the Kenneth Walker thing. Uh because obviously with running backs, they don't get trusted with pass protection earlier in the season, rookie running backs, but we saw him starting to get a heavy dose of passes. And that's something that I think betters will forget about after he kind of took uh, some games off due to injury. So Geno Smith over 21 and a half completions plus one Oh two uh, projected for just over two there. And then you, you like Seattle, your projections are showing some value on Seattle money line. That's at plus 155 now, uh, which is an 11% difference in implied probability between the projection you have at minus 102. Yeah, the Blitz actually thinks Seattle should be a small, small favorite here. It sees this game as basically a coin flip, and we can get Seattle at, at plus 155. You can take the spread you know, if you want, a little bit safer, but I think the, the better value is on the money line here considering that Seattle projects as a small favorite. Like, Seattle is a good offense. Geno is one of the best quarterbacks in football. He doesn't have the name value attached, but people are coming to realize more and more. Geno's legitimately great. He's got two of the best receivers in football to throw to, and uh, and there's plenty of question marks on the, on the San Francisco side. Like like you said, we don't know for sure that Brock Purdy is Josh even, Johnson. Yeah, is he even starting? And even if he does, we don't know that he's good. Like, this line feels like an overreaction to, yeah, he was impressive last week, sure. But this is a guy who was their third-string quarterback. Like, yeah. like, just he was not a prospect. He wasn't anything. And then it's a great system. He's got great guys to throw to, sure. But Debo Samuel's out, and there's just a lot of uncertainty here. I feel like San Francisco, as a favorite, feels feels odd. Yeah, you could be laying points on the road in a divisional game with a team playing their number four quarterback possibly. <laughs> yeah, that is a possibility right now. But uh, Pur Purdy will start, but we're still looking at a number three. Debo's out, like you said. Uh, there are a lot of question marks, and we saw that earlier. I believe it was today. Seattle was plus three and a half. They got hit. 
moved it to three, starting to lean back to the three and a half, but sharp money did come on on the Seattle money line. So definitely on the right side of the market there. So just the two plays there, Geno Smith over 21 and a half completions, tough to run against this San Francisco defense and Seattle money line at plus 155. Uh, about 50 points of value there looking at the price. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Hardy. These are his blitz projections. This is Covers. We'll see you back here for Saturday football.